certainly do. That gives me a good reason not to be too unhappy about this. This channel I'm listening to is called Radio Classics. And this is probably from the 1950s or the 1940s, back when people gathered around the radio instead of television, because not too many people had television. Never seen a dead guy before. So, yeah. Remember that the next time you think of bumping yourself up. I'll come out of the car. We got a camera shoot some pictures of this. Yeah, pretty much. What? Oh, this lady. is like a police drama. Okay. I wouldn't have come back if I hadn't seen your car parked off the road after I turned the bend. It gave me the idea that there might have been witnesses to what occurred here a few minutes ago. And I don't want witnesses. He's going to kill us. Take it easy, Jack. <laughs> Young man, unfortunately for all of you, is right. You see, I prepared a very good alibi for this evening that your testimony would kind of spoil. <laughs> I'll give you all your choice. Where would you like it? Between the eyes, I jack out to the heart or in the stomach. <laughs> you know, I pride myself that I never miss. But it's all the same to you, Blackie. I prefer not to be shot. Yeah, you should have known better to stand so close to a guy you meant to plug. You got his gun, Casey. We got his gun. Yes, I have. Now, Blackie, we'll go to my car, get a camera, and take some nice pictures of you. Uh, I'll be good. Stick your hands in the air and get going. Okay, but don't you want this? What are you picking up there? Huh? Did you see? A pair of gloves. The lady dropped them when she stuck up her hands a minute ago. Are you just leaving them on the road? Yeah, miss. Oh, yeah, they are my gloves. Hey, Casey! You spent better show! Not that gun you took from me, Casey. If you're trying to shoot it, you'll have to shoot through this gate first. Hey, he's holding her and Let me go! Let me go! I always carry two guns. And you gave me a chance to get the second one, Sap. Knock up that rod or I shoot this thing. Go on. Drop it. You win, Blackie. Uh, I thought I would. Now get over there with your friends, oh, hey? I want to see you all in line like three pipes in the shooting gallery. You're going to be first, kid. Me? Yeah. You get it in the belly. Jack killed him. That's right. Yes, I'll save you in the last, Casey. Lady, you're next. I'm going to make this shot for sex. Right between the eyes. Don't shot that kid. Like he's fallen. I shot him, Casey. I got up his window. Jack, you shot him. That woman, he shot at me, hit the steel of the car, and I ran for my back. I glanced off. But I pretended I was dead, and I, I fell close to the gun he made you drop, Casey. But, well, I, 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 I've never shot anyone before. Oh, I'm glad you shot somebody this time, kid. So, I am a hero. I am a hero. <laughs> Sister Edna says, quote, the only thing wrong with the younger generation is that it grows older, unquote. What does that mean? Frank Photographer, starring Scott Scottsworth as Casey, is brought to you each Thursday by Anchor Hawking Glass Corporation. Is directed 
Lewis. The original music is by Archie Blyer, and the program features Miss Jan Minor as Anne and John Gibson as Ethelbert. The part of Jack Cliffside was played by Jack Grimes, and Herman Citizen is the Blue Note pianist. This is Tony Marvin saying good night. <laughs> Self-made hero, a new to the channel this week episode from July 17th, 1947. This is part of this year's birthday special for actor John Gibson. He would later recreate for television the role of Ethelbert the bartender. And fellow cast member Jan Minor showed up as Anne. But instead of Stotts Cotsworth, the lead character was played on TV by Darren McGavin. Although Richard Carlyle would also be seen as Casey in about half a dozen episodes. Well, I'm Greg Bell, and next on Sirius XM Radio Classics, John Gibson stars in Hard Luck Story. It's an episode of the Columbia Workshop, which begins right after this. This is Alec Baldwin, and here's the thing. My podcast is about following great conversations to unexpected places. Carol Burnett, Justin Hoffman, Chris Rock. Some nights it's darker than other nights. Edie Falco, Jerry Seinfeld. And when you come off stage, I gotta go back to me. It's my chance to talk with people I want to know more about. How do they feel about what they do? I'm Sophia Coppola, and I'm Alec Baldwin's guest this week on Here's the Thing. Today, 9 p.m. East on Sirius XM Insight 121, online and on the Sirius XM app. When it comes to skincare and makeup, one brand's name is coming up more and more for its high performance, stunning shades, and breakthrough organic ingredients. Juice Beauty, Academy Award winning actress Gwyneth Paltrow, and Juice Beauty's creative director makeup. To Turn that off, silly ass commercial. Anyway, that's what I was doing, listening to this classic radio. I got ones like Gunsmoke and Hopalong Cassidy and Jack Benny and. Bob Hope, and all kinds of stuff that was in the 1940s to 1950s. Pretty interesting stuff. So, see ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy now? Who's your daddy?